It's early morning and the Cape Town station deck is a hive of activity. It's Cape Town's main hub for informal transport and thousands of commuters gather here every day to catch a ride to and from work and home. It was also selected as an ideal place to roll out Target 5000, a project initiated by the Desmond Tutu TB Centre at Stellenbosch University, in collaboration with the City of Cape Town and with funding provided by PEPFAR through the US-funded Centres for Disease Control and Prevention. The goal was to test an extra 5,000 people for HIV within three months in Cape Town. The COMAP team rose to the challenge. We collaborated with the city of Cape Town and got permission to put up tents, um, a caravan at the station deck. We have eight tents set up outside and eight councillors testing people. So we have eight stations working simultaneously. Two mobilizers with loud hailers also fanned out throughout the deck to encourage people to test for HIV. Commuters and people working on the station deck were encouraged to go to the tents, which offered a range of health services. We're not only testing for HIV, we're also screening and testing for TB, we're screening for STIs, we are assessing family planning and distributing condoms, and then we're linking people to care, HIV care, TB treatment, STI treatment. Busy shop owners and staff on the station deck welcome the services right on their doorstep. I'm a hairdresser, I work Monday to Monday, no off. So, if I came here and they are there to test, then it's good for me. I can go only 15 minutes and come back to my work. I know I must stay safe. I know I will let everyone to be safe just because of I know my status. And then I can be able to encourage other people to come and get tested so that you can get to know your status. Right from the first day on the deck, the tents proved very popular. It's actually very busy. The tent is never empty. There's always people in the tents getting tested. The station deck created a tremendous buzz among the people. It was also encouraging to see how greater awareness helped to spark a more open attitude to HIV testing. People have become more, what's what I'm looking for? Familiarised, you know, even so scared of it, and especially in the culture, uh, culture backgrounds. It's not such a don't do thing, you know what I mean? And it's not a curse, you understand? People understand if you're sick, and you will get sorted. The teams learnt a lot through Target 5000. They also outperformed their target and tested 5,200 people in three months. What we've learned is to be able to think quickly, to react quickly, to solve problems on our feet. Our staff have learned to do this, they've learned to coordinate, they've learned the importance of communication and teamwork. Target 5000 revealed some interesting initial findings. Men made up over half of the people tested. This was very encouraging. It's important to access men because many of them do not know their HIV status as they don't usually visit clinics. It was clear that men welcomed mobile testing. We are finding men who don't typically access services. We're finding a lot of young people. Um, and people who are well who aren't aware of any signs or symptoms of disease are accessing our services so we can provide early case detection and linkage to HIV care. Overall, 6.4% of people tested at the transport hub were diagnosed with HIV. This is higher than the average prevalence rate within the Western Cape province, which is 5.2%. With the station success under their belts, the team moved on to a college campus, other taxi ranks, the Wallerstein community, and to factories. 
the province was pleased to see the services on offer. I noticed that now you have your blood pressure machines, you are checking for blood glucose. So linking that also with the other chronic conditions, diabetes, a hypertension, you do TB screening, it kind of puts it as a nice service package. <laughs> the CDC also visited the sites and were pleased that they were picking up more HIV positive cases, an opportunity to get more people onto treatment. According to what they have shown me since my last visit and now, there is actually high positivity by taking the service to the people, unlike what they were getting in their standalone facilities. At this factory, one of the final destinations for Target 5000, the machines that measure CD4 count, which determines the client's eligibility for antiretrovirals, are making a tangible difference. Our aim actually with, with the CD4 kind of testing is actually to get the people quicker into care and they can actually go to the clinic and say, I need um, ARVs or I don't need ARVs. We tell them, the CD4 count is 500 or less than 500, you're going to access care quicker now. This has paid off. Clients know within 20 minutes whether they're eligible for ARVs, which they get at the clinic. If you get tested, you know your status, you get treatment, did you live longer? The CDC says it considers its investment in Target 5000 as very worthwhile. It's also encouraged by the high number of people who follow up with treatment at the clinic after being tested positive for HIV. I think it's money well spent because looking at the linkage to care, Stella Bosch University is actually currently sitting at 70%. It's higher than most of our partners that are doing similar projects. It's brilliant because some, some, some partners, you know, are, are, cannot reach those numbers. Target 5000 is working towards the 1990-90 targets set by UNAIDS. By 2020, 90% of all people living with HIV will know their status, with 90% of people with diagnosed HIV infections receiving sustained antiretroviral therapy. The third goal is for 90% of people receiving ARV treatments to have viral load suppression. The center says Target 5000 holds lessons for both other HIV programs and countries, while for staff working on the COMAP project, it's been an enriching experience. We are part of a global vision, doing global things on our own little, a little picture, a small little picture, but we are part of a bigger picture. I always thought I would one day want to be somewhere where you can make a difference. And I realize where I am now. Making a difference.